What's going on guys? Mama Rug here. Today it's a beautiful, nice, sunny, warm day in San Diego. I woke up in the morning and I thought, why not surprise Brian with something that he loved? You know Brian, he's into this thing, a smoothie thing. He'd been getting it every day. And today I thought, okay, why not go and surprise him now one? Hey, good Hi. morning. Good morning. Guys, you like? <laughs> I just recently started eating acai bowls. One, they're healthy. Two, they're good. And three, I'm addicted. So, oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at it. I think, yeah, that's big. That's a lot. I don't know. Is, back is in it, 20 minutes, I'll finish it. <laughs> oh my God. Is it like a whole breakfast in one? I think so. I mean, it. It's supposed to fill people up, but I kind of make it unhealthy by adding chocolate, but <laughs> okay. it's okay. <laughs> At least I know where you want it. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. You. And where's Bosley? You guys, Bosley's doing a little better. We're doing what we're supposed to do. I wake up every morning, walk him. He loves to walk. And I start with wiping his eye, wipe the extra stuff that in his eye before we put the eye drop. We've been putting eye drop, we've been doing everything, and we have a follow-up on Sunday. So let's cross our finger. We have they have good news for us. And let me show you Bosley. Bosley say thank you to all the people that they pray for you, they care and love you. Say hi. Mom. Say thank you, yes, mom. I love dogs Who? You don't think what? <laughs> okay, I don't think dogs could talk. Yeah, he d my Bosley talk. Really? Okay. It's yeah. See, listen. You he's gonna talk. Look. Let me see. Bosley, you wanna say you wanna say thank you? Mm, you wanna go in the car? At least he listened and he tilt his head. Not as much as before, but he. Are you waiting for Ron? You waiting for Ron? Don't cry. He loves Ron, and Ron loves him so much. They will sit. Look, he's going crazy because I said Ron. No, Ron is not here yet. We have to wait for him. Here's their spot. That's where they sit and watch Netflix every night for hours. So Brian doesn't know what video I'm making today. I'm sure you didn't go to the master bedroom. You didn't see what's on the table. What is it? Remember when you were young, you and your brother, and you used to write me some letters? Oh, <laughs> that's going to be a good video. I found, it, it will, it will, maybe emotional, but um, oh. yeah, I used to keep everything like that my kids get from school. I have two big envelopes with their names on them from their grades, their achievement, their student of the month, remember that? That was the fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and Ron, we used to go to, uh, like, when they get student of the month, you go celebrate in school and take a picture. So I have most of their stuff in big envelopes. And on top of that, I have letters that they wrote to me and Ron for Mother Day, Father Day. So I kept most of the stuff, but because we moved, I misplaced some stuff, but I was, yesterday we were cleaning the garage, me and Papa Rock, and I came across a lot of stuff. So, in a little, I'm going to sit and read some of those letters for you guys. Some of them are, like, really emotional. Some of them are, I mean, most of them are nice. I love them. So, those envelopes, I say, Brian's school paper, important. And Brandon, school paper important. I don't know if I, if I spelled it right or wrong, but in a little we'll sit and read some of the letters and show you some of the project that they made in school. I I just love like keeping those stuff as memories. I thought maybe when they get married, I'll give it to them and show their wife because I was proud. They they always made me proud, Mama. I love them. So. I'll see you guys in a minute when I get the stuff ready. So I got some of the letters and some of the posters that they made. It's not all, believe me, I have boxes in the garage with all their yearbooks. I'm sure every mom, most of the moms do that, keep those things for memories. And um, 
I just love to read them like every now and then and what happened yesterday uh, Brandon Brian I mean Brandon's out now he's he lives in his own but and Brian went to LA so it was me and Papa Rug we were just sitting down and we always what we do is either look at some pictures or go through these so <laughs> I told him it's a good idea that we share it with you guys um I remember the first time I took Brandon to school was his first kindergarten year. I'm used to have my kids always with me. They were never with babysitter because I didn't work after I had Brandon. So from having them every day with me from morning till night and doing everything together. So first day I didn't think about it much. Just okay, he's starting school. So we went and you have to get down to introduce yourself to the teacher and introduce your son, your kid. So we went down, we went to class and introduced each other and he met all his friends and stuff, all the new friends that he's gonna have in kindergarten. And before we left, the teacher gave the parents a Ziploc bag with bag of tea, a tissue, and a small note. And they said, Take this home, read it at home. I left. I came home with Brian. Brian was still young. He didn't go to school at the same year that Brandon did. Once I walked to the house, I swear to God, tears just start coming out of my eye. Like I start crying. And I, I go, why did they give us this? When I opened the, the Ziploc bag and I read the note, here, enjoy your hot tea. This day is going to be emotional and you might cry. And I go, oh my God, how do they know? They know because you, you leave your kid. It's hard. It was hard, but it turned out to be good, all good. He loved school. He loved his friend. And the next year, it was Brian. Same school. I used to take them together and met a lot of moms, a lot of parents. And, and I become something like, um, I love to go to everything that they had in school and I help teachers with things in class, you know, how they, they need your help sometimes. Any field trip they have, I went with them and I even got a certificate, thank you certificate. But So every time they get something, I'll show you, I'm not going to read all these because these are just like, like student of the month thing for Brandon and same thing with Brian student of the month certificate and they write in the band achievement for basketball for skating for because they were in a lot of sport it wasn't only basketball that they played it was a lot of things and <clears throat> so the letters they they wrote to us I have some of them let me write read um, for mother day I think I have both of them Happy Mother Day from Brian and Mother Day from Brandon. Yeah. Okay, so let's read to Brandon. Brandon <laughs> got me this on Mother Day. And it say, Mom, I know I wasn't an easy child to live with. The good ones never are. Happy Mother Day. This was so cute. Let's see, Brian. Happy Mother Day. I don't know if it was the same year. Dear Mom and Dad, you guys are the best parents in the world. You guys never yell at me, and you try your best to make me happy. Every time I'm sick, you guys always make me feel better. I love you. You're the best parents. <laughs> and he put this picture. Ron wouldn't like this. Here's another one from, from Brian to Dad and Dear Dad, I am probably the most annoying and <laughs> kid that Dad can ask for. So thanks for, no, this is Brandon. This is Brandon, yep, because I saw MBA. So this is Happy Father's Day from Brandon. Uh, I'm probably the most annoying kid <laughs> that dad can ask for. Thanks for dealing with that. Thanks for taking me to meet Steve Nash. No one else would ever do that. Thanks for 
getting me a brand new car. No one else would do that. Thanks for never getting mad at me, even when I do something bad. You didn't, Brendan. Maybe here and there. Thank you for... Oh, just remember the MBA graft start on October, so we can look for Suns tickets again. I love you. I also like how you are 43 years old and don't even have one gray hair. Happy Father Day. And in the back it say MBA draft on June 28th on Aspen. ESPN. Aspen. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. We have, oh, I'm sorry. The one I show you guys with the picture was happy anniversary. The happy Mother Day is this one with a lot of hearts from Brian. I just love my kids. Sunday, May 13. Hi, Mom. It's Brian. Happy Mother Day. I want to thank you for bringing me into this amazing world by amazing mother. You have been there for me whenever I say mom. Thanks also for being my mom. And I would never, ever regret this. Love you a lot and happy Mother Day. Uh, oh, and he gave me his grade. He, he sent me his, like he wrote his grades. Math A, Science A, PE A, English A, Spanish A, History A. My report card. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. This one, he just left it in my room. I think I was sick. I wasn't feeling good. Dear mom, are you feeling better? Well, I love you. You are very nice. I am sorry you needed to be sick on your birthday. So it was my birthday and I was sick. That wasn't good. I'm sorry you needed to be sick on your birthday. You're my only mom. I love you. Thanks for your cake, chocolate, and white frosting. And from the white frosting, you gave me the S for sauna. <laughs> you were the nicest mom ever in the world entire life now you and my dad are 33 years old and today's school I won you're very very nice my dad is gonna turn 34 and you and dad aren't gonna be 33 anymore this is so cute uh, thank you for almost every day we see our cousins. Thank you for everything you've done. You are very super, very super nice mom. You are very loving, caring. Now I will never ever forget what you do for me every day. I am very happy you were born like this. I love you very much for every time I ask you anything and you do it even if you're sick <clears throat> you never said no to me anything I ask for and for that I love you I'll see you at 2.15 oh. <sighs> I said I I'll try not to cry but the only thing that like there is one poster that Brandon made and I always read it and cry. I don't know why since he made it. Every mother know that day is going to come that the kids going to leave the house, but you never want to think about it because you always want to be with your kid. You always want to be around them and taking care of them, making sure they're okay. So I think he was too young and he made this. I'll read it. It's say my hand. He put a, uh, they, like, I think they put their hand in the paint and painted to the paper and say, this hand print is yours to remember. I'm sorry. Uh, always bring me to tears. I don't know why. This hand print is yours to remember when I was rather small that I left mark on everything, on furniture, mirrors, and walls. For I will someday grow up, and perhaps I'll move away. But this will help you to recall this way I was today. Ugh. Dear Mommy, I will love you forever and ever. Thanks for everything you do for me. You are the best mom in the world. 
I love you. I love both of them to death. <laughs> Seriously, I have, I have one of the best kids, and I mean it. Ooh, every time I say, okay, I'm going to hold my tears when I read this, but I couldn't. Anyway, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Brian. I love those. I love these good memories. You sit and read them, go through them. And uh, our relationships with our kids, it's so strong that I think we are blessed. We are um, fortunate to have two wonderful kids to love us and be with us and same thing we do for them. Sometimes I meet fans with parents and the parents ask me, how can, how you guys keep your relationships with your kids this close? I go, befriend your kids. You don't have to act like parents, be their friends. Trust them, show them that you do trust them whatever they do, support them. Believe me, that way your kids wouldn't do that like if they think about doing anything wrong when they see mom and dad trust them and give them that trust they they won't even do something i always trusted my kids maybe i was strict before when they were young and that didn't work very strict it doesn't work it makes it worse because if your kids want to do something they will do it behind your back or something but if you trust them to talk to you and tell you what's going on in their life it's a lot better so be close to your kids see what's going on in their life know their friends know what they're where they're going and what they're doing and that way everything will be okay I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to make it a sad video, it was beautiful video, beautiful memories, beautiful letters from my kids, which means a lot to me, and I was so proud, seriously, in school, I was talking to um, Brian the other day, I go, Brian, you rem remember your first fight? He sat there and go, Mom, I never got in a fight, I go, see, that's why, him and Brandon never got in a, like, fight in school, or I got call from school to tell me your kid did this and that and for that i thank them and love them it's the best thing in the world your kids make you proud put your head high uh, let me show you guys the last thing it's a poster from brian i was trying to hang it but i couldn't so i don't know how old was he so let's say my poster First picture say, this is me when I was born on November. This is my family from Iraq. <laughs> oh, this one is from, this is my cousin from Iraq. This is when he was born. This one say, this is me with my aunt's dog. His name, her name is Bailey. Okay. This is me when I was two years old at Chuck E. Cheese. This is my family. And let's say this is me. This is me and my brother. I love my brother. And he loves me. I'm sure he does. Look at that. My brother Brandon. This is me when I was two years old at the old house. That was an apartment. This is me in Halloween as Scooby-Doo. This is me and my brother with Santa. Me and my cousins. Me and my family. Me and my classmate. Me and mom in Halloween. This is lovely. I love it. I love having those stuff around. Oh, yeah. So, if parents are watching this, go through those things once in a while. You'll love it my bra you bring you to tears like it did to me but you love reading this and you go back and you remember all these things or these nice memories and thanks god we still have that in our family we still get together we still write things to each other we still text nice things like if i don't see brandon i'll text him some nice things and he'll text back and i always say and again i am blessed and fortunate to have this life, this 
a husband like Ron, kids like Brandon, Brian, and fans like you guys. Love you guys a lot. Maybe you guys are the reason that we are still like this close because our YouTube videos that we make for you guys make us closer. And because you guys watch it, we keep making it. And thank you for that. And we love you so much for everything, for the love and support and everything. And comment down below if you want to see more of those videos because I have a lot more pictures, letters, memories, and we'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. Been Mama Rug, memories from Brandon and Brian. Thank you. Love you guys. Peace.